Every option must be on the table. At the recent health care summit, President Obama pledged to listen to any ideas on how to pay for his multi-billion dollar makeover of the nation's health care system. And now the administration is signaling it could be open to a new tax on employee health care benefits. The same idea candidate Obama blasted John McCain for proposing during the campaign. It's a multi-trillion dollar tax hike the largest middle class tax increase in history. The fact that we're having this discussion is a reflection that everything is on the table. How far it will go, uh, we don't know yet. The Obama administration's turnaround comes because while taxing health benefits may not be politically popular, it could bring in much needed health care funding. Mr. Obama's health care plan will cost $634 billion over 10 years. The White House wants to pay for it in part by limiting tax deductions for the rich, raising an estimated $318 billion over the next decade. But taxing health benefits as income could generate $246 billion per year. White House aides are saying while the new tax plan isn't in the president's budget, they are not ruling it out. You're not saying it's off the table? I'm, I'm not going to say uh, one way or the other. He said, let's put all ideas on the table. That is not the president's idea. It's not in his health plan. It's not in his budget. They do not necessarily want to see it coming from him. They were very clear in saying that he did not propose it in his budget. The White House hopes if the plan comes from Congress, it gives them some political coverage from Republicans, eager to remind President Obama of what he said during the campaign, Russ. Joel Brown at the White House. Thank you very much.